2017. The future is in your wrist. Yes, guys, that is the sound of MotoGP 17. Hi, guys, Robbie46 here. Now, yesterday, Milestone released a teaser trailer for MotoGP 17, along with the release date and new details about the game. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. First off, let's start off with the release date. The game is going to be available on uh, 15th of June this year in Europe including Australia, New Zealand, Middle East and South Africa. It's uh, unfortunately excluding Germany. Uh, it will be out in Germany a day later, the 16th of June. Uh, and that is going to be available on, on the PS4, the PS4 Pro, Xbox One and Windows PC and Steam. So um, it's not actually that far away, uh, but all the previous MotoGP games have come out in June, so... That's when I was kind of expecting it to come out. Of course, uh, you've heard the sound of the, the Honda anyway, which was in the uh, the first part of this video. Uh, I will leave a link in the description if you want to check out the full trailer and also the, uh, the link to the website if you want to read the details yourself. But the sound is already sounding much better than what it has done in previous games. Of course, one of the main gripes that a lot of people have had with previous games is that the sound wasn't quite right. Um, but this year, the, the sound sounds more mechanical, more vicious, more brutal. Um, so, of course, we've only heard the Honda so far, so it'll be interesting to see what the other bikes sound like. But hopefully they're a big improvement as well. The game for the first time uh, will be running at 60 frames per second, which is a huge, huge thing. Um, I did ask the question about whether this was just on PC because obviously PC gamers have been having 60 frames per second in their MotoGP games for like since the dawn of time. But Milestone did respond to my tweets stating that it is on consoles as well. So we will be getting a 60 frames per second MotoGP game on consoles, which is really, really good. Uh, be hopefully nice and smooth. That will probably help with online as well. But um, also the title will include, of course, all the 2017 riders, teams and tracks, the new rules, and Red Bull Rookies Cup will no longer be DLC. That will be included in the game straight away off the bat. So uh, you don't have to fork out four or five quid for Red Bull Rookies Cup like a month later after the game's out. So Red Bull Rookies Cup will be included already in the game. Um, there is a, a little interview with the lead designer on the website. Uh it was stated that MotoGP 17 is not just a seasonal update, but an enjoyable game which is full of all the innovations which the fans of the series have been asking for over the years. Now, what those innovations are, we don't know. Um, they, he didn't really go into any detail about um, those innovations, so not entirely sure what they are. Um, fingers crossed one of them is uh, dynamic weather, but we will kind of go on to a negative thing in a little bit um, regarding dynamic weather as well. Um, they've also stated that there's a new competitive and thrilling online mode. Uh, again, not stating what that is. And a completely revolutionised career mode and much more. So career mode has been given an overhaul as well. Um, be interesting to see what that's like. Maybe this year we have to start off in Red Bull Rookies and then work away through Moto3, Moto2, MotoGP. Um, whether we'll be able to uh, create our own team again, I'm not sure. Um, but obviously, when we get more details, I'll let you guys know. Now, uh, one of the things I mentioned about dynamic weather, it may or may not be in the game because there is quite a big elephant in the room, um, and that is. Uh, Unfortunately, the game will not be running on Unreal Engine 4. Um, Marston did announce that the game will be running on an optimised version of their own in-house uh, game engine, which they've used in pretty much all their previous titles. Now, you've probably already noticed from the screenshots that it doesn't look a lot different from previous titles. Um, maybe the bikes look a bit, sh bit more shiny, uh, a bit more metallic. Um, but I don't think we're going to get the jumping graphics which we were maybe expecting because we were expecting the game to be go running on Unreal Engine 4 but unfortunately it's not. Um, however, 
I think their main aim was to get the game running at 60 frames per second. Um, obviously, MXGP3 and Gravel are both going to be running on Unreal Engine 4. But um, MXGP3 is going to be running at 30 frames per second. Obviously, we'll have dynamic weather. But MotoGP running at 60 frames per second may or may not have dynamic weather. Whether they've been able to uh, use it in their own in in-house game engine. Um, maybe that's one of the innovations they're talking about. Maybe it's not. But as soon as we have more details, uh, I will let you guys know. The physics may end up just being a tweaked version of previous year's physics. But um, as long as they sort out the rear of the bike, then uh, I think that uh, they, they can definitely improve it. It would have been nice to see what kind of physics they could come up with with the new engine. But we're stuck with the old one for now. Um, so we just have to wait to see what it plays like when it comes out. But that is pretty much it guys, uh, like I said MotoGP 17 will be available uh, June 15th this year on uh, PS4, PS4 Pro, um, Xbox One, Windows PC and Steam. And uh, that's it from me, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more content, I shall see you guys in the next video, see you!